What is up everybody? It's your boy Gordo here. Just gonna try to bring you another video anyways. Sorry if the road's all noisy or whatnot, but we're going catfishing. There's like a weird, so many people in Washington are just so weird about catfish. Like they just like hate on catfish so much, which I don't understand why, but I am gonna try to do a catch and cook. I've never done one on the channel before, and honestly, I don't really eat that many fish, but catfish is the only species of fish that I actually go target to eat. I mean, if I catch a walleye or whatever, but I'll never go just walleye fishing. That's not the point. The point is, is that I'm going to try to catch a cook, a catfish, on the video. So everybody at home, you can see what I'm talking about. All you Washingtonians, catfish are the bee's knees. But we're going to meet a couple buddies out there. Um, and yeah, they're on the way right there, so I'm gonna try to get out there. It's like 8.30 in the morning. All right, either way, I'm gonna see you guys at the lake. All right, people, I have arrived at the river. It's the good old Snake River right here. Um, we're gonna go down, try to clear some of this up to our normal little fishing spot. It's supposed to be like 100, 100 degrees today. It's like 11 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm already about to start sweating. I just got out of the car. <laughs> But yeah, we'll see what happens. We're gonna see if we can catch some catfish. Hopefully, hopefully they want to cooperate with us. This right here is the shit that drives me absolutely crazy, dude. People that come down here and just leave all this trash down here. Yes, what the? You picked up all that in that bag? Yeah. And I was just bringing the trash bag down here to help grab it. Yeah. Oh, there's so much just trash down here, dude. God, that's the worst. Tony's already got a line in the water? Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to get myself set up and then yeah, we'll get this going. I'm just using my salmon steelhead rod. It's a lamb glass. It's nine foot four, medium heavy. It's rated for three ounces, um, and which I have a three ounce weight on here. The most important part is your rod needs to be kind of weighted for the weight that you're using. Got this on a 4000 series um, spinning rod for Shimano. Symmetry. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Whatever that is. Yes, yeah, so I got. Um, 30 pound braided line tied to a 20 pound leader, which I tied whenever I got out here. But let me show you this. So you got your main line braided, 30 pound braid, coming to a barrel swivel that's got a little clasp on it. And then a little three ounce lead weight. And then what I do is I tie my leader knot onto that same hook or onto that same um, spot. I give myself about three feet to a size two little bait holder um this one's eagle claw i mean they're not the greatest hooks but it is what it is um and i'm just throwing a throwing a worm out there just sander i wanted to show you guys this little contraption that tony's got rigged up which is honestly ingenious it's a little fish cage you get some styrofoam so if it comes up it floats the river comes up you just tie it off to a log throw your fish in there so they stay alive um the reason why you put them in a fish cage here instead of on a stringer is because there's otters there's uh wild otters on the snake river and they will eat your fish off your stringer overnight um he's had it happen to him before and i've seen him swimming around out here so i believe it um otters are vicious but i'm gonna get this thing baited back up sent back out in the water stay tuned we'll see how it goes Another bird. Oh, he's got us. Been sitting here since like. And a little bit gosh, of what, ten o'clock. Probably got our first actual fish on. We finally got one. God bless. So if you agree, have That's a good eater right there. Oh yeah. All right, there's a perfect eater. Yeah, that's what you're looking for for the eater size. That's perfect. Beautiful. We got us our first fish of the day. <laughs> Hopefully it'll start kicking up a little bit. We've been sitting out here forever, but all right, I'm gonna get him in the box. So I guess Tony just jumped hooked into something huge. So they told me to bring the GoPro and come check it out. Let's go see. 
Is it carp? <laughs> oh my god. I think it's massive, bro. It ate your tube? Yeah, it came out though. It's a sucker. Dude, that is a big one, dude. <laughs> Let me get my hand. Dude, that is a really big carp. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Gross. Oh my god. Dude. Dude, they're kind of cool. It Ew. looks so gnarly from this. Ready? <laughs> Look at his lippies. Jesus. <laughs> dude, that is a massive carp, dude. Carp, carp. Yeah. Oh my god. Starts sucking everything immediately. Oh, this so rock, good. this rock looked good. Oh my god, dude. I can't believe it. <laughs> so what, so what happened? I was dragging my tube on the bottom. Felt a little tick tick. I set hook. The thing takes off. I'm like, oh shit, I think it's a big ass smallmouth. Comes up to the surface and there's a big ass carp. <laughs> <laughs> We're hooked up again. This is another little guy, but hopefully it's a catfish. Oh, oh, it's a squawfish. It's a squawfish, dude. So, for those of you that don't know, this right here is called a pike minnow, aka a squawfish, for cut bait. Talk about like cutting up a fish to use for bait. This is the Cadillac, the Mercedes Benz of cut bait right here. So, we're gonna actually uh, sacrifice this fish to the uh, Snake River Lords. <laughs> And we're gonna cut him up and get him sent back out there. Um, see if we can get something big on this one. We got Tony hooked up. About time we catch a fish. Need a net. Uh, this to be safe. <laughs> I'll bring him up over here. Next to that tree. Well, if you come up right here, it'd be easier. I'll teleport to the other side. Oh, on the ledge, dude. Nice. Nice. Beautiful, Toby. <laughs> Got Charles hooked up over here. Or he's hung one. Oh no, there's a fish on there, dude. It's a little channel. Man. Nice, run. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, shit. Is that like coming out in the same one? Same species, yeah. Head. Oh, what's up, Bubba? Nice, Chuck. Stoke. We're going to eat him. <laughs> I'll put him in the box. All right, so that's gonna be all for me. I'm sunned out. It is hot, and I'm over it. <laughs> uh, yesterday was just so slow. It was. If I wouldn't have had my buddies out here, it would have just been miserable. It was so hot, you had, couldn't even sit on the bank anymore. But um, I mean, that's what it is. Today, we noticed the water is coming up. I mean, it's up probably six inches from what it, what it was yesterday. We've had more fish today than we had all. We had more fish this morning than we had all day yesterday combined. So I think that with the Snake River, maybe whenever they open up the dam, let the water in, when the water starts rising, I think that's whenever the fish start eating. All in all, I mean, it's not terrible. It was just a slow day of fishing. I caught two catfish. I didn't get one of them on film. Um, I just jumped up and grabbed it, but Charles got one, Tony got a couple. We missed some big bites. I had one on that was just 
felt like an absolute toad and I don't know what happened. I must have just had a skin hooked in the mouth or whatever and ended up pulling the hook out, but that's fishing, you know? But I got a couple catfish, so I'm gonna take them home. I was gonna do a catch and cook here at the river, but turns out uh, I left a flay knife. Thanks for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed already, do it. Just do it. Anyways, I'll see you guys back at home. Alrighty boys, I have humanely euthanized our catfish. They've all been bonked in the head. They're all dead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the GoPro on this and I'm gonna show you guys how to fillet. So this is what you're gonna do is they have a big bone on their head obviously right here. You're gonna wanna come in on that bone right on the other side on their meat. And then you want to just take it from the tail. Follow its spine up. So they obviously have ribs right here in the rib cage. You want to go down until you hit the ribs. Once you hit the ribs, you can start peeling it off around it. Come through here, bite on the side of that bone. Start trying to get that peeled off from the top of his head. Follow down his ribs, just making nice little incisions. And then there you go, perfect little catfish fillet. So then is what you want to do, is you want to take your knife, which I don't think that's going to work with this one, it was tough with this side. But normally you'd want to take your knife, and you want to get right up against the skin, skin side down obviously. You want to get right up against the skin, See if this works better. Layer flat. And then you typically would want to push the knife blade down like this and flex it. So that way you get just under the skin. So it, this knife just isn't going to allow me to do that. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little incision right here. Just big enough that I can grab a hold of. And then start to just peel this skin off. The fillet. Look at that, just peel it off, boom. And there you go. Perfect little catfish fillet. And just obviously you want to rinse it off, pat it dry, and you'll be good to go for the fryer. Catfish fillets, these are the fillets from yesterday. I just put them in the uh, vacuum sealer, because that way I was gonna cook them today. I was just so drained yesterday. But I'm gonna open these up. I'm gonna throw them in this egg wash. And then I have a concoction that, but all this is, is a little bit of panko, flour, salt, and then I've mixed it with um, Cajun seasoning that I've thrown together. So that's the game plan with that. Which I'm just using some cheap extra virgin olive oil. So I obviously don't have a deep fryer, which I've never really cared. So just a little bit, I usually try to cover like the bottom of the pan just a little bit. That way, if I drop all these in, It'll get a nice coat, and then it's only going to take it just a couple minutes on each side. You'll see. Uh, it'll just turn like a golden brown, and then, yeah, so that's it. And then in this, I just have um, some wild rice I like as a side. Old royal blend. It's just my, my go-to for a side, and I mix um, some dark kidney beans in that whenever it's, uh, it's going to be coming off the stove. But... So that's pretty much the setup on it. I mean, you can obviously do whatever you want. Um, I mean, typically either panko or cornmeal. I found that I like this the most. And so as for my heat, which I did not mention either, I usually do it on about four, which is like medium pretty much. My stove runs really weird. Like if I leave it on four, it will get insanely hot. If I, if I go over four, it just gets insanely hot. But for just medium temperature, I mean, you don't want your oil to be to where it's just burning pretty much, but. So then you're just gonna throw it all in this bag of all your breading, and you're just gonna mix it all up. 
all that delicious nom noms. So this is how I usually test if my oil's hot enough. It's not smoking, but if you drop one little piece of water in it, it starts popping. That's how you know you got the good stuff. So yeah, that's, this is all nice and breaded. Oh. So then, whenever you get a couple minutes on each side, you're gonna give it a little flip, and you're gonna get that nice little, little brown crust in there. I mean, I ain't no chef and I ain't no expert at this, but I definitely took enough catfish in my day to know the good stuff. There's a little bit of panko in there, so it's not like completely like breaded, like crunchy. I'll give you just a little couple crunches in there. Yeah, just go through, flip them all, once they're done, pull them, and uh, yeah, down the hatch. Alright, Sean, I'll let me know what you think, buddy. Mm-hmm. Well, that was great. Mm. Nom noms. Nice. Charles, what do you think, buddy? Mmm. It's fucking delicious. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Why don't they just get golden brown on both sides? You just take them off, down the hatch. That was so good. Mm, boys. So that's gonna be all for my first catch. Catch and cook. Mm-hmm. Nice and crunchy on the outside, nice and moist on the inside. That's gonna be all for my uh, for <laughs> That's gonna be all for my for my catch and cook video. I appreciate all you guys watching. Now maybe you guys won't talk so much crap on catfish. Or maybe you'll be inspired to go have a try. But either way, I'd highly recommend catfish. Next beside walleye. It's just top tier for me, but appreciate all you guys watching. Hope you have a great summer. Be safe, don't catch the Rona. Mm -hmm.